Okay, so for the I can for today, it's I can find volume of composite figures. So the one word in this sentence that I feel like we need to quickly zone in on and kind of decompose, it's composite. Now composite basically just means something that is made up of other things. Okay, something that you have to kind of put together to create. So for example, if you've ever played the game Hangman, I'm sure many of you have, you have the head, right? You have the body, the two arms, and the two legs. I know some people like to even add on, they like to add shoes, they like to add a hat, um, or whatever. But I can do two things. I can do one thing and I can do something else to kind of reverse what I just did. So I can decompose him and I can just kind of separate him. I can have the head, the hat, the body. As you can see, I'm decomposing, I'm breaking it apart. The two arms, the two legs, and the two shoes, right? If I wanted to bring him back together, put him back together, I can compose him. I can squish it all back together. So decompose is going this way. Compose is going this way. So I didn't just randomly draw Hangman because I was bored. It's trying to drive the point of composite figures in math in fifth grade. It's talking about when there are two shapes put together to make one figure. So for example, here I have an irregular shape, right? But if you look at it carefully, you can, just like Hangman, I can take it apart, decompose it, now these are two rectangular prisms, and then I can bring it back together to compose it. This is a composite figure, okay? So the I can for today is I can find the volume of composite figures. And finding the volume of composite figures is very easy as long as you understand um, what composite means. And it's when you understand that composite means that it's just two shapes, regular shapes put together to make one sh shape that's irregular, that's a composite figure. Two things put together to make one. So all you have to do to find the volume of composite figures is to take apart the two pieces that you have, find the volume, find the volume, and put them back together. Okay? So let's take this one apart first, right? So when you have, this is example A. So when you have a composite figure, the first thing you have to do is to think, where can I split it so I can find the two parts, add them together, and find the total volume? Obviously, this is easy because I color coordinate it, right? So I can split it apart here. Now, just by looking at it, length times width times height, length times width times height, you can see the width. You can see that the volume of the first part now the first figure is 4, and the volume of the second figure is 6. Now what do you think the volume of the composite figure is? It's 10, right? So 4 plus 6 is 10. So if I just add those together, I'm going to get my total volume of this composite figure. All you have to do is step one, break it apart. Step two, find the two separate volumes. Step three, add it together. Let's do one more. Let's look at this one. Step one. This is a composite figure, right? Let's break it apart. So again, I made it easy. You could just color coordinate it. You could also do it like this. Some of your brains might work like that, um, which is totally fine. Well, it's not color coordinated, but that's okay. This is a regular rectangular prism, right? This is a regular rectangular rectangular prism. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and take it apart according to the color. So first step, take it apart. Second step, find the volume of the two regular figures, right? So you can look at the depth here. So the one on the left, the yellow one is eight. And the one on the right is two. Third step, 
add them together. Volume is additive. 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 cubic units. So finding the volume of composite figures, pretty simple as long as you understand the definition of composite, right? Two parts or more. You can break them apart, find the volume of each part, add them back together.